Good morning. I'm doing another how-to video. Why not? So doing one of my recent fun new activities that I really enjoy doing with my kids. Tie-dye day. So today we're doing something I haven't done. If I can even handle this thing. We're doing a whole hoodie. So got this nice big hoodie from Forever 21. We're going to do some normal kids clothes. And uh, see what's my funky shirt this time. If I can find it. So sometimes, you know, if the shirt's a little worn, if it's an old white shirt, has some wear and tear, you know, looking a little dingy, you can always touch it up. So today, I'm going to take my Pittsburgh Normal. I got it at the uh, recent National Cannabis Festival that I went to a couple years ago. Um, so I'm going to take that. We're going to put it all in the tie-dye. Um, I'll show you the brand, the process. And uh, yeah, this is something great you can do with your kids. They can kind of get colorful and get creative. So here we go. So this is the kit that I'm using today. The brand is Jacquard. It's a tie-dye kit. Um, comes with some cool stuff. I'll unbox it here real quick, show you inside. So it comes with some soda ash, which I'm going to show you. You pre-soak the shirt so the color absorbs better. You see it's got some gloves, rubber bands for your various designs, and it's got three different colors and they all combine pretty good to get good purples and greens. So uh, yeah, next step, we're going to prep all the shirts. So here we go. So to begin to prep your shirts with the soda ash, you're first going to fill it with, fill a bucket of any kind with hot water. Look at that nice faucet. I'm only saying that because I installed it like two days ago. There's actually a video on my channel on how to do it if you're interested. So next we're just going to dump the soda ash into this bucket. So this is where you can start getting your kids involved. You're going to soak all the shirts in the water. So go ahead and put it in there. Make sure it gets in there. Put all of them in there. Yeah, make sure they get in there. There you go. Push them down a little bit so they all get wet. Not too hard. Just so they all get a little oh. wet. Yeah, don't get too wet. You're fine. We'll wipe your hands off. <laughs> Push it all the way in. Push it so they all get wet. <laughs> go ahead. Get them all wet. It doesn't hurt. Just get it wet. There you go. Push it all the way in. All the way under. There you go. We'll wipe your hands off. And by the way, soda ash is fine. They're not going to be, it's non toxic, non corrosive, or whatever. So, there you go. We're going to wipe the hands off. And we're going to let it soak for about 30 minutes. Once you're done soaking your shirts, you're going to get your fabric dye ready. Fill it up with warm water. Shake it. And then uh, along with your shirts, you're going to bring it to a space where you don't mind getting a little color. So we're going to do it in the front lawn. So we're in our workspace. We've got our shirts, got our tie-dye kit, and got our plastic bags for when they're all done. And once they're finished, they're going to have to sit for 24 hours. So let's get started with some dyeing. So first you want to make sure that you wring out your shirts as good as possible. Just get all the water out. Try to get as much water as you can get out on each of the items. So to determine your pattern, you're going to use rubber bands and you're going to cinch the shirt across different areas. We're going to do kind of like a um, flowerish pattern, so I want to do some pinches around. I want to rubber band them. Oh, look at that. Rubber band them, pinch them, and then I'll show you when I start putting the dye on. So here we go. Yeah. So, so we'll start with the blue. So we've got our colors. We've got our shirt cinched up. So now we're ready to kind of start adding some color. So we're going to start with blues in the center of each. And it's okay if you make little mistakes, you know? Mistakes, like uh, Mr. Ross always says, mistakes are just happy little accidents. So we're gonna flip our, hold on, hold on. So we'll flip our shirt over, do the other side. The other cinches. So next, we're gonna take our next color. I'm good. You, you just tell me when to do it, because I got the gloves on. So next we're going to do the red. So we're going to try to do the red down here at the bottom of each. So if I'm trying to be quick, yeah, rock a tie-dye funky one. It's hard to roll. It's hard to roll. Yeah. So feel free when you're doing this to be very generous on the application. Because if you don't, it's not going to get the results that you're looking for. You got because you got to use a lot, otherwise it won't. That's a kid. No, 
that be awesome? Yeah, it won't be awesome, right? Hey! So. And then feel free, you know, sprinkle stuff around. Get a little extra color on there. Stop hitting each other, boys. So next, we're going to get our yellow. We're going to finish out this shirt. We're going to finish out this shirt nice and strong. So we're going to do yellows down here at the bottom of each of our pinches. Get some green going. Maybe a dab in the middle. So make sure we're get in there good around each bottom piece. And make sure that you put a lot. Like I said, you really want to feel like you're over soaking it, if anything. Because if you don't, it's not going to come out the way that you think it's going to. I learned that on some of my first round of shirts. So here you go on the bottom. Get the bottom here, the bottom pinches. That. A little extra here. Get some extra quartz of color in here. Okay. On the other side. So this is going to be a pretty wild one. Daddy, you missed some more so, here. It's okay, it's okay. Put some blue up top, make it green up top. There you go. Are you making green? Sorry if the video was kind of shaky, trying to get it done quick. So there you go. So you got a real crazy shirt. So we're going to take it. I'm going to take the whole thing. Put it in there. Can you hold this? Yeah. Make sure your fingers out of the way. So we're going to take the whole thing. So we're going to drop it right in the bag. Tie it up. And we're going to move on to the next shirt. And we'll do a different design on the next shirt. Yeah, I do hope. Daddy, I'll do it. Daddy. So all our shirts have been bagged up for 24 hours. That one looks like something cool. They've all been bagged up. So now we've got our empty dishwasher. We're going to wash it. This is my preference, but I always like to use Draft just because it's pretty easy detergent. It doesn't have any extra dyes or anything. Um, plus I have a baby, so it's around the house. So we're going to toss all these in. We're going to give them a wash, and I'll let you see when they come out. Got it in there. Ready to get washing. So you take them all out of the dryer. They're all nice and warm. We've got some hung up, and I'm going to show them to you one by one. Here you go. So here's our kids one. Kind of the accordion effect. You can see it turned out really cool. It got kind of more bars going across. And there's the back. So kind of gives it a cool space, some depth with the red in there. Let's go to the next one. So this one I purposely went real light. These were just some pinches and I only applied right around the individual pinches. So I gotta flip this around too. And there we go. Kinda like cool, you know, little burst effects. Fireworks looking things. So this one was one of my, uh, I think, better ones. It's real wild, you can see. But, you can see the individual where we pinched it. Pinch, pinch. That's where our rubber bands were. So it came out real cool effect on there. Like I said, you used plenty. The mix actually turns out pretty cool, but the individual, you can see the individual pinch spots on there. So, yeah, that was my funky shirt. Turned out real nice. Now, to be honest though, this was one big swirl. You can see right in the middle, we just pinched it hard and swirled it up. Now, this might be my favorite because it came out with this weird looking unicorn puppy kitten thing so it's kind of weird but other than that other than that it looks really cool let me show to the back hold on jack same thing on the back it's got a cool really cool traditional tie-dye pattern and that's just one big swirl right in the middle and here's the last one the hoodie as you can see it's definitely lighter yeah, the sleeves turned out really good. And then the inside is awesome. What in the inside? Yeah. What in the inside of them? One thing I might have done, though, 
is actually when I rolled it up, the color might have actually gone on the inside. Which created a lighter effect on the outside. But the kind of graffiti-esque look on the back is pretty cool. So, could have done better, but you learn from every one. And uh, there you go. So that's the hoodie. Hey, so thanks for riding with me through this video. Uh, this was how to do tie-dyes. Total time involved was about 36 hours, including washing, drying, prep, everything. Um, it's just a great thing to do, you know, if you're kind of bored, hang out with your friends or your kids or family or whatever. Um, and plus, you get really unique clothes that no one else is going to have and pick your colors, kind of represent a little bit of your personality. Um, so, yeah, so thanks for watching. Subscribe. Uh, and we'll try to start doing more of these how-to videos. And uh, until next time, have a great day.